Hello, welcome to Black Box Elementary School and our 2021 school year. This year, our theme is True Grit, and how appropriate is that? Having true grit means you're determined to do what's right. At Black Box Elementary School, we are determined to do what's right. This video is going to share some of the ways that things are the same and some of the ways that things are different at Black Box to help keep our boys and girls safe and sound. All right, so one thing is arrival is going to look a little different. When boys and girls arrive at school, the first thing they're going to do is um, get their temperature checked by our wonderful teachers. Good job, guys. They're going to hustle in and get their temperature checked. Another thing that's different, parents, they're not going to wait in the gym for their teachers. Instead, instead, they're going to, if they eat breakfast here, quickly eat breakfast and head to class. Our teachers are actually gonna arrive early this year so the classrooms will be ready. Our doors will open at seven, breakfast will happen at 7.05, and teachers will be ready for students at 7.15. So it's gonna be a great start to your boys and girls days. So in the classroom, one thing that is going to work to Black Fox advantage is the fact that we have always had a seating order and a line order. We're going to enhance that so that students who are sitting side by side will sit side by side in class, in line, and then when they go to their pullouts, like music, lab, and library. This is going to help us cut down on the number of contacts. And parents, just so you're wondering, children are not going to be required to wear masks. Teachers, however, will. And there's one reason why. When you see a mask on my face, it means I love you. It just means I'm not gonna give you any germs I might possibly have. So I'm not wearing this mask for me, I'm wearing it for you. And now a word about attendance. Parents, you know that I have preached the world is run by those who show up. And that is still true, however, world of the coronavirus, there has to be more than one way a child can show up. In Bradley County Schools, we have that way. It's a platform called Schoology that teachers will upload their lesson plans into. So you will always know, you will always be able to find out what is going on at school. I love that. So if your child goes to bed and he or she has a temperature or wakes up with a temperature or has COVID symptoms, they can stay home and be counted present remotely. Get that work done and there will be no problems. You do not need to be afraid of campus court in the world of the coronavirus. We have learned ways to be creative and supportive to you because we don't want boys and girls to learn, lose instructional time. We do want them to show up every day that they can, but we want them to be healthy. That is important. Thank you. All right, so moms and dads, here's some ways that you can help. Again, way number one, be sure you've got a thermometer that works. Be sure those temperatures are clear before your boys and girls come to school. Please don't give them Tylenol to get rid of a fever. We don't need any fevers at, in the school building. A second way is from my mama. She was a nurse at Erlanger. She believed in clean fingernails, and I need to clean mine now because I've been planting flowers outside Black Fox. Clean your fingernails, keep them trimmed short, and drink plenty of water. That was from my mama, and it's true today. Another thing, parents, you can help, and this is going to be a little hard for my moms and dads, but stop and think about the fact that we cannot have adults in the building that we have not checked. And too many adults increases the chance that a child will get sick. So moms and dads, I've already talked to a number of moms and they understand. I need you to let your boys and girls off at the door. We will be standing there with the doors open, ready to check their temperature and welcome them to school. But I need my moms and dads to be sure you make an appointment before you come to school. This is also a quick word to middle and high schoolers. Middle and high schoolers, if you're gonna be on the bus, you can't get off the bus until your adjoining bus arrives. No more waiting under the awning, okay? If you ride by car and you're here in the car, 
You can be there, but you cannot get out of the car until your bus arrives. Officer Myers and Coach Canada will be there to make sure you can get from your car to your bus, but you cannot come to the school building. Boys and girls, faculty and staff in the school building, and that's it. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna make sure you're safe. So what about meet and greet day? We love meet and greet day, and we're still gonna have it, but it's gonna be a little different. We're not gonna do home visits, but we are gonna have school supplies in the gym. Instead of having all the teachers and all the school supplies in the gym, the gym will only have school supplies. So parents, you will be able to get those school supplies by going in the side gym door. We'll be there to check your temperature, let you come in and get the school supplies that you want or need. Then you'll exit out the front school doors. You will not be able to enter the front school doors. The second thing you'll be able to do is if you have any medications, our nurse will be here to take those and you can tell her any special health concerns that you have and our teachers will be lined up under the awning by grade level. So we'll be outdoors and you can meet your teacher face to face. Boys and girls, I know you love to do that. You like to see who's in your class and you like to meet your pretty teacher face to face or handsome. We've had some teachers and pretty teachers and wonderful teachers. And this is how I would like for you to come with one grown up and black box students only. If the oldest student's last name begins with A to G in the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you come from 1 to 2 p.m. on July 30th. That's Thursday, July 30th. On Thursday, July 30th from 2 to 3 p.m., H through M. From 3 to 4 p.m., N through S. And from 4 to 5 p.m., T through Z. Now, moms and dads, if you say, wait a minute, my break is at two, that's the only time I can come. Go ahead and come. I wanna see you, I can't wait to see you. Just follow those rules, park in the field, come through the side doors if you want school supplies. If you've already got all your school supplies and all you wanna do is meet that teacher, come straight down through there. We're gonna do school dojo, school-wide next year, so your teacher's gonna wanna be sure she has, uh, or he has your contact information, so we're ready to rock and roll for a great school year. Finally, moms and dads, I know that you have a lot of different feelings about school starting this year, I completely understand. But I want you to know that there's some things you can only get right here at White Box. Number one, you have access to a phenomenal library. Mrs. Jade Fisher has been working very hard. She's your new librarian and technology. At Black Fox Elementary, every student has his or her own device. So your student has one device that he or she will use throughout the day that's just theirs. You also have access to some of the sweetest boys and girls in the world. And again, the finest faculty and staff anywhere in the world. I'm proud my grandson goes to this school. I'm proud my children went to this school. I'm proud I went to this school. And we're gonna have a great year, I promise. It's gonna be all right. Hey girls, it's good to see you. Welcome back. 